crazy few days in the Bundesliga. So, of course, Bayern München are champions, but the race for the Champions League is still wide open and it's been a big few days for Borussia Dortmund. They're in, which means Sancho and Harling ain't going to go nowhere. We'll take a little look next. Both back once again with another prediction show today. We're taking a look at match number 33, aka the penultimate uh, match day over in the Bundesliga. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing, swallow what you're doing, smash your subscribe button, hit your bang with all things black and related, Bundesliga related. What? We got it all here. Under one Ruski. That's right. Dortmund are in like Flynn, of course. Uh, one point clear now of, of, of Eintracht Frankfurt. And I still have a, shot, a shot at third spot, of course. And that is valuable to uh, to their to their future, of course. Keeping the likes of Haaland, Sancho, Bellingham and co. Uh, because if they weren't got Champions League football, guess what? The other teams will come in scavenging for them. Anyway, we'll talk more about that in a minute. A big, big shout out to the VIPs. We're talking about the Patreons. Thank you for your continued support. If anyone else out there wants to join the illustrious band of men, men and women, Check out that link down below, patreon.com forward slash Rover I really do appreciate the support. I really would like to try and further the, the Patreon. In fact, we're going to be ramping up the Patreon over the next, into the summer and beyond because my time should free up a little bit. And of course, we can uh, we can start making exclusive content for patrons. So make sure you check that out. Also, speaking of exclusive stuff, it's not really exclusive. Uh, the Discord is wide open. Come join in. It's free to everybody. There is a separate room for the VIPs, of course, the patrons. But the the, the the communal chats is wide open. You can jump in and talk about predictions, Euros, uh, football kits, whatever you want to talk about. Just jump in there. Patreon, it's all in the description. Also on the screen right here right now. Anyway, let's get cracking and have a little look at the recent ma matches then, shall we? As, of course, Dortmund got themselves right back in the thick of things. So here we go. Uh, of course, Hertha Berlin playing catch up a whole host of games, uh, starting with Mainz. Of course, they did draw 1 1 back in the 3rd of May. Lucas Tossa on the squashy for Hertha Berlin. Philip Menewine on the squashy for Mainz in a 1 1 draw. Actually, I remember the one that went for Mainz, and this one's a shame on me. Uh, they also were right back in the thick of things, taking on Freiburg on the 6th of May. Christoph Pietic on the squashy for Peter Pekrak, and the manager of Rodic on the squashy for Berlin. A big win over Freiburg. Actually, I actually remember the 1 1 draw on that. Into the full fixture list, it was Friday the 7th of May. Stuttgart, 2-1 winners over Augsburg. Philip Foster on the score sheet, Sasha Kajic as well. Flodo Niederlechner on the score sheet for Augsburg in a 2-1 win. Got the one bang on the nose. Meanwhile, of course, it was the big one. Uh, Dortmund up against Leipzig. Must win territory and a big win for Dortmund in the end. Marco Royce, Jaden Sancho with a brace. Lucas Klosterman and Danny Olmo getting on goals for, Leverku, uh, for Leipzig in a 3-2 win for Dortmund. Actually, went with the 2-1, so not too shabby on that one. Meanwhile, Bremen up against Leverkusen end up 0-0. Nothing much to report there. Just Erre Maselli with Denkinki get himself sent off for Bremen to make matters a little bit uh, hairier. I won with a one win for Leverkusen, but I was wrong. Uh, Wolfsburg did beat uh, Union Berlin 3 0 in the end. Uh, Josep Bracalo getting a hat trick, of course, for Wolfsburg. Actually, with the 2 0 win, not too bad on that either. Hoffenheim up against Schalke it was a six goal thriller going in favour of Hoffenheim. Uh, Andrea Keremich on the score sheet. Uh, Kevin Agaboma, Ag Ag Christian Baumgartner, and Ilis Bubu on the score sheet, giving uh, Hoffenheim a four goal uh, uh, back end of that. Mark Ute and Shakhtar Mustafi on the score sheet uh, for Schalke. Actually, it was just a one 0 win, but uh, pretty much home and host. 3 1 win for Bayern was my call over Borussia. It was a 6-0 demolition. Of course, uh, Lewandowski uh, scoring the goals again. He got himself a hat-trick. Thomas Muller, Kingsley Coleman, uh, Leroy Sané on the goal score sheet. Tangungi Inzanzu got himself sent off though for Bayern late on in that game, but still 6-0 lead uh, to make it. To kind of reverse the reverse fixture back in the day. Cologne or Köln up against Freiburg. 4-1 win for Freiburg. Actually went with a win for Köln on this one. Uh, Niels Peterson, Emin Damianovic, uh, Vincenzo Grifo and Jonathan Schmidt on the score sheet giving Freiburg the win. Sebastian Anson getting the goal for uh, for Köln, but uh, went with a win for Köln but they've got they got hammered. Uh, Frankfurt up against Mainz was a 1-1 draw. Nothing much to report there. A couple of goals. Uh, Adrian Hustrich on Scotia with Academy and also getting the goal for Mainz as, of course, their strong end to the season continues. Uh, the Berlin against Armida Bielefeld also was a 0-0. Not much to report there. Looks like Bielefeld might just be hanging on. We'll confirm all that in a second. And then wrap it up. Wrap it up. Hertha Berlin did beat Schalke 2-1 win in the end. Derek Boyata to sick Nick Yakam on Scotia with Andre Hadamit again on the goal Scotia for, for, for Schalke. Doddy Lukakalo on the score sheet. Uh, got himself sent off for Hertha. Uh, got with a 2-1 win there on that. Um, let's have a quick shifty then, shall we? Uh, these are the pick Rudy's things. I didn't really move the markers too much. Janik Seifried did good. Uh, Omar Majimani also did okay. Okay, did very, very good. Uh, well done to you, of course. Russell Foss also did bits. Uh, well done to you, of course. Armstrong also did very, very well. Ojo 52, not too bad. Ultra Mirror did good as well. Luka Bajanovic also did very, very well. Hans Wurst smashed it. Well done to you. Kavan Wright also did good. Of course, Game Chai not too bad either. And that's well, absolutely fan David Ozzy. Kicking on forward. We've got James B. Great. You did good. Of course, Omar Esquivel though did very, very well. Uh, 
I'm going to try not to bad eat sheer poop. Uh, Shannon also did very, very well. Well done to you. Of course, that's long did bits. Uh, Mitchell and Anis also did okay. Josh as well. Travel not too bad either. Cost is okay. He's okay. But Marcus Patelli also did good. Uh, AJ24, not too bad either. And Yann Buster did bits. Uh, kicking on further. This is the table. Uh, your name's Cameron Chan. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. As is the leader, though. It is Hans Worst kicking ass and taking names with eight out of whatever the scoreline was there. What about the overall table heading into this one? There is around about 18 points on the offering still. We have a, a contest on our hands. Uh, of course, it is. It's looking Looking like a two-horse race between Costas K and Alex Weller. Uh, but still, mathematically, Yannick Buster uh, and maybe even Luka Kajelovic could still compete uh, for this. But only just. You need snookers, really. Maybe Yannick Buster's got a, an outside sniff at it. But Costas K and Alex Weller are still into it. So uh, we will have to go into the final game or final wit fixtures. Um, unless something back, back crazy goes on. Um, well, we will have to come back. We're going to come back anyway for the last round of matches. Um, we could have a winner then. But realistically, it doesn't look like it. We're going to probably have to go into the deep 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 in the end season so anyway that's that of course the table looks like this of course by our champions temple is clear with only six on the on the offering of course Wolfsburg could finish second depending on what goes on elsewhere Fra Dortmund also up to fourth right now which is Champions League territory and a win for them they could go as high as third this weekend uh, Frankfurt still in the mix as well they could go as high as third so it's still a race on their hands for those top four spots it could be anybody in there I think Leipzig are safe uh, but Wolfsburg Dortmund and Frankfurt still could be for the two spots um, as well Leverkusen of course uh, yeah, they're not really going to go for the fifth, I think that's home and hose there. Down the foot of the table, Schalke are down. Uh, who's going to join them? It could be Köln. Is it so? Two teams go down. Is that right? Two teams go down, and then the third is in the playoff. Uh, so right here, right now, it could be Werder Bremen. They've 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 had a, a really terrible back end to the season. Uh, there's still six points on the offering. So realistically, you could even continue Hertha Berlin in this. Uh, but either way, I'm uh, Schalke are down. They're toast. Um, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm, we're going to be doing the Schweiter Bundesliga next season, so I'd rather have a Werder Bremen get sucked into that to make that a little bit spicy, so we'll see about that. Anyway, let's kick the next round of matches. Kicking it off with Augsburg uh, up against Werder Bremen. No, it's not. It's Freiburg. Freiburg going to take place against Bayern, of course. Played to the last six. Nothing for Freiburg. Four, uh, six, four wins for Bayern and two draws. That's around. In Freiburg was a 3-1 for Bayern back in December 2019. Lewandowski, Joshua Zerksi and Sergi Nabry on the score sheet giving Fre 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 uh, the win. Uh, Vincenzo Grifo getting the goal for Freiburg. They also played this season, uh, of course, at the Allianz Arena back in January, it was a two-one win for Bayern as well. Uh, for Bayern as well, uh, Bayern have actually won twenty-four last twenty-nine matches against Freiburg in all comps. Uh, Freiburg have actually, uh, yeah, Freiburg coming to this just one defeat uh, in the past four games. One defeat was against Hertha Berlin. Meanwhile, just a one defeat past six games for uh, Bayern. That was against Mainz. It was two-one win uh, to, to Mainz. A couple of games back. Meanwhile, the book is odds on this one. We have oh goodness gracious, we have nowhere near it. I'm bloody nowhere near it. Uh, of course, the book is odds if it decides to wake up uh, for this uh, penultimate game. We'll have. Uh, Bayern coming into this 10 3 on for the victory. They are your favourites. 9 1 is your draw. 9 1 is your home win. 17 4 is your, is your draw. Of course, Bayern on top. They'll beat up no matter what. As for Mainz, they're in 12th right now. Win for them. They can move up to 11th. Uh, so I want to talk about Mainz for a win for Freiburg. Uh, they could go up as high as they are in 9th. Win for them. They could go up as 7th. 3 0 win there for Bayern. Home and host. Uh, Bielefeld, though, taking it, of course, Hoffenheim. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Must win territory for Bielefeld. Pretty sure the last three has been two to Hoffenheim. Nothing for Bielefeld. One draw. Last round in Bielefeld was a 2 win for Hoffenheim back in uh, May 2009. Uh, Wellington on the score sheet. Shechashalovic as well with Anthony Mijantovic got himself sent off for Bielefeld back in the day. They also pretty sure this is in Hoffenheim. It was back in January. It was a nil-nil draw. Uh, Hoffenheim keeping a clean sheet in the last three matches against Bielefeld in all comps. Uh, however, Hoffenheim failing to win the last seven away matches heading into this. Bielefeld coming to this just one defeat the past six games. One defeat was against Gladbach. 5 0 loss. However, they haven't scored in. In, uh, two games, just one goal in four for them. Uh, they're actually keeping quite a lot of clean sheets. Uh, so just uh, you know, out of the past five games, they've kept four clean sheets. So Bielefeld are playing it airtight at the back. Meanwhile, Hoffenheim unbeaten in the last five as well, picking up two wins and three draws. Smells like a draw this one. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be good enough though. Meanwhile, the book is odds on this one: seventy to ten for Bielefeld. Thirteen to five is draw. Six to four is your Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim coming to this in eleventh. The win for them, they can move up to tenth. As for Bielefeld, they're in sixteenth right now. Win for them, they can move up to thirteenth in the end. Whatever for Bielefeld, have gone with it. Gone with the upset. One they win in the end. Schalke up against Eintracht Frankfurt. Of course, Schalke been absolutely shit all season. Just two. Wins. Wins all season. Pleasure of the last six has uh, been two is for Schalke, four for Frankfurt. No draws last time around, uh, of course, for Schalke. In Schalke, was a one and win for Schalke back in December 2019. Goals from Benetiro Raman and the Scottish Alexander Nubel get himself sent off back in the day. Also, pleasure of this season. In Frankie, it was a 3 1 win back in Jan. Schalke, they're failing to win 36 of the last 38 matches in the Premier and the Bundesliga. And they come into this uh, four defeats on the spin. As for Frankfurt, just one win and four for them, playing them at the right time. It looks like Schalke. Look at the book's odds on this one. We have Frankie coming at you. 5 1 on for the Richard Todd. 1 is your Schalke. 6 1 is your. 
is your draw. Schalke are in 18th right now. Of course, they're going to be in 18th. The win for uh, fifth place. Frankfurt could go up as high as third in the table. They'll get the win on this one. Three and a win in the end. Next up, we have Leverkusen up against Union Berlin. Played to the last six, five wins of Bayer. Uh, of course, one win for Union Berlin. No draws last time around in Leverkusen. was a 3-1 win. Uh, that was in the German Cup this uh, uh, last season, of course. Uh, last time they played each other in the league at Leverkusen. It was a 2 win for Bayer Leverkusen back in September 2019. Goals coming from... Uh, Kevin Volland, Lucas Adiero as well, with Sebastian Portugal himself sent off. They played each other and Berlin, though, this season. was a 1-0 win back in Jan. Uh, Leverkusen winning the last three home matches heading into this. They've also won the last three home matches against Berlin, uh, Union Berlin in all competitions. Uh, just one defeat past six games for Bayer Leverkusen. That was against Bayern Munch. It was 2-0 no loss uh, a couple of games back. Meanwhile, two wins and two defeats the past four games for Union Berlin. They're a bit hot and cold right now. We don't know which Berlin will show up. Bookies odds on this one. We have uh, Leverkusen 20-17 uh, on the eye. Favourites 14-5 is draw. 3-1 is Union Berlin. Union Berlin coming to this in uh, eighth good season for them. Win for them. They go up to Seventh, as for Liverpool, they're in sixth. Win for them. They get to mathematically finish fifth at the end of the season, but they're going to need snookers. I think they're going to draw this one, one, one in the end. Hartha Berlin up against, of course, uh, uh, FC Köln. Relegation six point, a win for either side puts them the opposition right back in the pooper. Uh, Place of the last six, three for Hertha Berlin, two for Köln, one draw. Last time around in Berlin was a five day win for Köln back in February 2020. That was last season. Uh, Joan Cordova with a couple of goals there for Lauren Kantz as well, with Mark Ute getting a goal for Köln uh, as well. The pleasure of this season was a nil nil draw in Köln back in Jan. Uh, Berlin uh, undefeated in the last seven matches against Bundesliga of course they've been playing thick and fast Köln though can see at least two goals in five last six away matches heading into this of course Hertha Berlin beat the last six picked up two wins in the past three though uh, as for Köln just one defeat the past three games for them the one defeat was against Freiburg 4-1 loss just the other day look at the Boogie's odds on this one we have what do we have on this we have we have 64 for Hertha uh, they are your favourites 95 is your draw 25 is your Köln uh, of course a win for Köln in 17th they could go up as high as 15th as for Hertha, they are 13th. And with them, they make, they'll they be safe as houses. Uh, I think it's going to be a new new draw, which will make me get the calculator out later uh, to see what the situation is. Augsburg up against Werder Bremen. Must win for Werder Bremen, of course. Played for the last six. One win for Augsburg. Five for Werder Bremen and no draws. Last time around in Augsburg, there was that one and only win. It was a 2 win for Augsburg. Florian Flor Flor Niederlechner, Ruben Vargas on the squash with Tim Videsh. Uh, get himself a big fat OG, giving uh, Bremen some hope. Uh, however, they also played sure that this is in Bremen. It was a 2 win for Werder Bremen as well. Uh, Bremen, though, winning five of the last six matches against Augsburg. Augsburg they're losing the last three matches in the Bundesliga heading into this. two teams in absolutely terrible form uh, Werder Bremen just one draw the past six games the rest of them were defeats same can be said for, or similar can be said for Augsburg just one defeat one draw the past uh, five games the rest have been defeats uh, so two teams absolutely dog shite form bookies odds on this one Augsburg 64 for the Richie 90 10 is your Werder Bremen 94 is your draw Augsburg down into four they're in the relegation heat as well of course a win for Augsburg in 14th they could go up as high as 12th a win for Werder Bremen in 15th they could go as high as 13th in the end man I've gone with a 1-0 win, brother, for Augsburg to put Werder Bremen in the poop. Uh, Munch and Gladbach up against Stuttgart, of course. Place of the last six, three for Gladbach, two for Stuttgart, one draw. Last round, of course, for Gladbach was a 3-0 win uh, back in December 2018. Goldness gracious me. Goals coming from uh, Rafael Florian Neuhaus and Benjamin Pavard with a big fat OG. Eric Tomney got himself sent off for Stuttgart back in the day. They also pitched this season in Stuttgart uh, in the in the, in the the league. It was a 2-2 draw. Uh, they also pitched in the cup. And, and Munch and won 2-1 win as well. Uh, Gladbach keep a clean sheet in the last four home matches against Stuttgart in all competitions. They've also won those last four home matches against Stuttgart as well uh, but they've come into this uh, winning the last three home matches as well heading into Gladbach actually hot and cold form right now winning two losing two of the past four games meanwhile just one winning five for, uh, for Stuttgart that was against Augsburg a couple of games a couple of games back or actually just quite, quite recently a look at the book this one Stuttgart coming into this 7-2 for the Richie 20-13 on is your Gladbach 7-2 is your, your draw uh, of course Stuttgart all the way down in 10th right now win for them they can move up to ninth. Gladbach are in 7th and win for them can close in on 6th Gladbach will get the win 2-1 win not pretty but just enough to get over the line Dortmund will go to Mainz, of course, bit of a rivalry here. Played to the last six, two for Mainz, three for Dortmund, one draw. Last round in Mainz was a 4-0 win for Dortmund back in December 2019. Marco Adoles, Jaden Satcher, Tolkien Azad, and Nico Schultz on the score sheet for Dortmund back in the day. Mainz, though, undefeated in the last nine matches heading into this. Uh, Dortmund, though, winning the last five also in, in this one. They also played this season in uh, Dortmund. It was a 1-1 draw back in January, of course. Uh, Dortmund winning five on the spin for them in all competitions. Meanwhile, uh, unbeaten in the last six, that is Mainz. However, back-to-back -back draws for them. So, kind of unbeaten, but just grinding out the results recently. The book is also this one, 6-1 for Mites. 5-2-1 is your, your Dortmund. 4-1 is your long shot. That is, is, is a longish shot. Is your draw. Of course, Mites are in 12th right now. Win for them. They go up to 11th. Uh, Dortmund are 4th. A win for them. They could mathematically go to 3rd. Uh, Got to go with a win for Dortmund on this one to keep the heat and, of course, stay in the Champions League mix. And then wrap it up, wrap it up. It is a banger. It's second up against 3rd. Uh, it's Wolfsburg. Still have a shot at being runners-up if they were to beat Leipzig, of course. Heading into this place on the last 6-2 for Leipzig. Nothing for Wolfsburg. And four draws last round in Leipzig. Uh, in the league. Uh, was a 1-1 draw back 
back in October 2019, uh, Wout Workhorse team were on the score sheet. They also played each other this season at Wolfsburg. It was a 2-2 draw as well. That was back in January. They also played each other in the Cup. It was a 2 win for Leipzig in Leipzig, and that was only back in March. Um, Wolfsburg have actually scored at least two goals in five last six away matches heading into this. In fact, Wolfsburg, not the greatest form, just two wins in the past five games for them. Same can be said, though, for Leipzig, two wins in the past five games as well in all competitions, including uh, the German Cup as well. Look at the bookies' odds on this one. A very, very tight game, this one. Leipzig, 11-10 uh, on for the victory. Of course, 12-5 is your draw. Uh, 12 5 is your away win. That's Wolfsburg, 5-2 is your draw. A win for Wolfsburg in third. They can move to within a, a point of Leipzig into the final game. Uh, of course, Leipzig are second and a win for them. They'll be second. They'll finish the season in second uh, in the Bundesliga. I've gone with on this one a 3-2 win. Goals galore on this one. Five goals in the end to make it very, very interesting. Be sure to get your picks in. That's especially if you're in the mix uh, for that Prediction League title. Uh, also, check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon as well. If you want to support you in another way, that's the best place to do it. Also, check out the link to the Discord. It's on the screen right about now. Up here, down here, somewhere like that. Uh, it's free to enter. So you can chat with me, with other guys on the channel, uh, you know, other fans watching, uh, viewers, uh, to talk about the Euros, talk about the Bundesliga, talk about new kits, new whatever you want to talk about. Get in amongst it down below. There is a link and also in the description. But, uh, but until then, we'll come back for the final season. Of course, Bayern are already there. Who's going to go down, though, and who will be in the Champions League next season? That's all to be decided in the final day. We'll see you soon for the next one. Until then, I am out.